Hello and welcome back to Banish with the Mega Mods. And it had taken a little bit of a break, but not because of wanting to, it was because of moving. And of course that takes a, quite a bit of time to do and get situated. So I'm in a temporary spot. <laughs> not my for formal finished spot, but hopefully everything will be set up as uh, well as can be soon. So we do not need houses at the moment. I thought we were going to need more housing, but we kind of do need people. We needed some more people in mines. Hopefully they're getting a little bit more iron. These mines are good because we don't need to also get the iron ore and then smelt it. We probably have iron ore, I bet, but we just don't have... Uh, we have lots of iron ore. A lot of iron ore. Okay, well, I know I wanted to get an orchard and gatherer set up. I was thinking I was going to need housing, but at the moment I do not. It would be good to have a church somewhere. We're looking off at this. Let's see if I can. Oh, what do we need? We need. Something for to get the iron smelting. A small iron smelter. Well, that should be okay. Let's. Ugh. We have, I think, a house over there. We have a couple houses here. It's a little hard to put it in a place where it's not going to affect housing because we have our houses kind of just all over. We'd have to go far away or something, <laughs> like the graveyard. Mm. Yes, our iron is low. They're still working on flattening that bit out. We don't want to flatten any territory. I think that is... If we rotate it a little bit, get it closer. I think that might be our best bet for getting an iron smelter in there. Did start converting some of these roads into country roads. We got our sawmill done. They should now be making some lumber. Which then, what I wanted to start getting in was that statue carver so we can start getting in a little bit of something to sell. And that takes some lumber to make it. So we have Forester over here and Forester over here. We have a little bit of open space somewhere in here, but we'll probably need to store this too. And I can't remember what the statues need to go in. If it's a barn is okay? Or a stockpile? If it's over here, it'll be nice because it's closer to the, the city-ish part, but we need to get wood. Probably we'll just need to get a, a a little wagon or something. So we'll get that unless we do need stone. So we're gonna need to find some stone and then speed it up and let them take care of those things. We want to clear that stuff out. So I think that is where I will want to put one of the foresters. So we have a couple laborers now. That is good. Let's put down the orchard guy first. Finding is always a problem. I think it's under, in, under forester stuff. We got greenhouses to think about too. Ooh, that one's pretty small. That one's very doable. So while I'm seeing it, <laughs> do it while you see it because you will forget that something is there. All right, this will look nice over there. And it's not gonna take a lot of stuff too. Cheese crops, plantations, those are the standard orchards. Those are different style stuff. 
I swear it's gotta be on the foresters and I'm just missing it. Is it? Yeah, there's the orchard ones. Alright, so we have let's get out of that. We have apples there. Which are doing something. Okay. Maybe if we wanted to get into the sugar stuff, that they look really nice, but it's a lot. It's a lot to do. If we get a fruit, we can get it into wine or something. If, and otherwise, a nut tree could be nice. That's an orchard gatherer. That's a different than a gatherer. Oh, we will try putting that down. Let's get cherry. Let's get that turned around there. And then let's try the orchard gatherer, which probably is just the, the building. It looks a little bit different, which is pretty huge. Maybe I'll have them come down a little bit more down there so they can be lined up and then stick a little stockpile of something another over here. This is the time I wish that we could have some covered stockpiles from red ketchup because that was pretty nice looking. Alright. Get them to prioritize this because they are going to need to also take down a whole lot of trees. And we were also starting with which set of roads here? We got dirt roads. Oh, this is the problem with Mega Mods. There's so many different roads. Very nice looking roads. This is what we were using before. I think we were using, yeah, a standard road because it was sticking up during the winter time. Looks like they got that taken care of there. Got a little bit of road stuff going there. And then they are going to need to take down a lot of trees to get the fruit trees built. I don't take out the herbs. And I don't take out the food stuff just because I'm assuming, you know, the gatherer's gonna collect food too maybe we'll see all right we have someone in a blacksmith just covered it up <laughs> someone that is blacksmithing okay one there or two limits is hit that's good we can raise that up our clothing is not quite hit, but that's okay. Okay, here is the other one. Now that's the smelter. And village workshop person. Okay. So, do we actually need two blacksmiths? They're making tools, iron and logs. This makes one to two. Okay, let's see. Let's have them change it to that for the meantime. Yeah, let's give a person. I guess no matter what they're doing, whether it's tools or whatever, it's still going to be a blacksmith kind of thing. Oh, furnace fuel. Oh, furnace fuel. Okay, they are catching up on iron, so really don't technically need it. Statue carver can make lots of different types of statues. Let's get our time going a little bit faster in the winter time. So at some point you can always make a, a quarry and get a jade or marble or buy it. But for now we'll just stick with wood because we have lots of wood. And it can be useful. There's our 
Sunflower Nursery. Be interested in seeing uh, ooh, what is going to be put in there. So, farmers. I'm assuming we don't have enough. Farmers are at the top. They're usually at the top. Okay, turnips. Yes. We have that disabled. Okay. Just fine. Hmm. I guess we still technically need one? I mean, I don't wanna... I don't wanna use up all of our people. Our food is doing just fine. But I'm interested in seeing what this does. And now that it is springtime, I can spend a little bit of time to put a little something around it. Uh, let's see. Maybe in this instance, maybe do a little hedging. Keep it nice and straight there. Reserve logs is low. Well, not technically. <laughs> it's technically not low, but it's okay. Let's get some trees of some sort. Kind of fill in behind here. Just make it a little fuller, I guess. Not that you'd actually want to cover up a greenhouse, but just trying to make it look a little bit something better here. Food limit 50. So we're getting kernels. Okay. There is more food variety, so that's okay. Now this bit of empty space could technically put something here. What kind of houses? We got village wooden house. We do need some housing now. Could go a little different. Rustic boats will, will work too. Not sure. Probably something there might work. Okay, Nordic house. Nope. Treehouse. Decided not to go at the treehouse this time. Teeny house. Oh my. But it. It fits, though, the, the look of it, anyhow. It's like a little tiny wooden stone cabin. I bet it won't fit many people in there, but that's okay. Alright, how are they doing up here? They got some stuff in the log pile, that's good. They got a little bit of the road stuff going on. quite overdo it. Let's have them start working on redoing those. Can't really see it at the moment, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not like super concerned about the crops because we have our foods doing, doing so well, but I probably do need to keep an eye on the barns. Of course the protein is it's not going to be quite as full. Uh, there's, those are full. There's our tiny house. Got people in there so they can have a child there pretty soon. Got our storage shed. We definitely will need a barn up here. Okay. House there. Let's stick it on the corner, I guess. And let's make it a, some big one. So it's kind of using both of these communities here. Go with you. Ye old traditional one. Let's turn this around. Uh, food cellar. Eh, I mean, it would... If it was more trees, I mean, there's gonna be trees filled in here. It kind of, it kind of works. That's a possibility. Village barn. Not quite the look. 
Alright, let's get a barn figured out here. Ooh. It's very big. But I think it might work. See, so we got the crossroads kind of right here. Sure. So we got the barn and also we got our, our other house to home back up. We have this guy who's already making stuff. And is it going to the dock or something? Or yes it is. And it's completely full. So we do need another bit of storage. We have that there. We actually need we actually need like something for the lumber to go into also. Do I we probably do not want them working here anymore. Alright, and another small storage somewhere here. This is going to be food stuff. We want it to be just all... Eh, it's really tiny. <laughs> A little too small there. Miscellaneous. Alright, what do we got? Crafted. Okay. Textiles. No. Don't think I want anything very specific here. Oh, that's pretty nice. I'll have to keep that somewhere else. Well, just a small one. take up some of my space here, but we'll get that one situated, and I really need a stockpile something that is a, a, a building, though, is what I really want. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That, that is nice for the decoration, for sure. the construction thing works. It would look really nice here. We'll, we'll try it. Okay. So now let's also figure out one more home. And probably be nice to put something over in this direction. So we got the Cherry Foresters done. Transit's done. Our gatherer is done. We need a couple more people in these professions. So we'll stick it as, as such for that right now. Uh, they are gathering up the regular things. Alright, not going to be doing much decoration around here. Maybe a couple, just a couple trees because you want to leave as much room as possible for all that lovely cherry tree stuff going on. Yeah, a stone house might work pretty good here. Alright. Let's get a little slower in time so we have a little bit of time to go through and get a few bushes and such in. Kind of marks out the area. Let's see. I think a lot of this will be pretty bright. However, this is going to be a kind of a bright area with the trees in it. Willow, that one is really bright. This area is very bright. <laughs> Pine, oak, birch. A couple small birches might work well there. Oh wow. I'm gonna say yes. Just just cuz that one will, will kinda work there. So they're getting everything cleared out 
here, our log pile's almost done. And let's wait for the rest of this stuff and get more stone taken care of. Alright, so we are now at 23 out of 25 homes, families, homes. We got our little transit thing there, which is probably going to be decorative, <laughs> but it's okay. We already got our barn that's starting to get full there. Our old barn, which is up in our newer area with the cherry forester. I'm just going to take a little bit of time to get all that going. Uh, is is going to be planting stuff for quite a while. You know, the gatherers, I'm going to turn the gatherers down a touch. Which, unfortunately, it matters with that. I think... Oh, I need to have this guy working. I like to have my everything max the max so I don't forget about it later but it kind of looks like maybe I might just have to deal with that I think I want to put another stone house over here just because people are going to be going really far if this area is not covered let's go ahead and stick another guy there We got some sort of remnant of that there. Let's get a little road. Okay, that one's done. All right, we got plenty of iron now. Tools, our clothes are starting to get caught up there. We have lots of iron, a little bit of stone. So I think next time we'll need to stick in a stone quarry. And they, they were not going to finish doing this mountaintop because I think they can't get to removing the trees at the very top. So I went ahead and got rid of it. They got rid of the outlying stuff. And I figured I'll cut this and leave this off here, maybe. Uh, this is a very big place. It, it might be low enough here that I can kind of cut it off later, but I don't want to mess with that too much. Carvers in. We'll need to still refine a bit of this. Wanted to get some wood pathways and stuff. Same over here. There's a, like a tree in the middle here that they just weren't getting to. So that is now clear. And thinking up here somewhere is get some stone and some other mine stuff going. Won't be too far away from the city. We'll get another bridge, couple bridges over here and such. They're going to keep collecting a bit of stone. We don't have a whole lot of it, but they'll keep getting a little bit more to kind of help get a little bit of a stockpile because we're going to need more for building more things. Thanks for watching and see you next time.